Ross Thons, it's Curtis Tarandino, and uh, in short, this is our second installment of the sneaker release videos where I just let you guys know what's coming out this month. But just kicking it right off, February 1st probably has like 10 releases. If you have a lot of money, then this means uh, great for you, I guess. Uh, but if you don't have a lot of money, it means what the fuck, Nike. And the reason why I say that is because Nike's always releasing. Even though the first thing would be the Adidas. First up, we have the fifth anniversary Ultra Boosts in black. They retail for about 180. Now, what's so funny about this shoe to me is the fact that these shoes been out for five years. I could have sworn it's been like two or three. But time flies. Life goes fast, and you die. <laughs> I don't know. I really wasn't trying to be funny. So next we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Fly Knit Respect, and I think it's like a 2 in the Respect, I don't know, so I'm assuming it's Respect. Um, this is a collaboration between Nike, Air Jordan of course, and Dark Jeter. This is, this is a dope shoe, very, uh, look, looks very comfortable with that fly knit material. You know, you guys know I'm a very big fan of the fly knit material. It looks like it's a denim blue with the, with the gold accents, you know, give it a little sauce. And then next we have the Adidas Energy Boost OGs. These look like they're specifically for running. Um, if you can swag them, that's up to you. Then next from Adidas, we also have a pair of Adidas NMD Carbons. They're like the black and white Japan colorways that I've reviewed in the future, except for except for they don't have that fly knit material. That fly knit material is what makes the NMDs to me. I believe it's fly knit. Whatever that sock material is called, if it doesn't have that material, I don't want the NMDs. I have a pink camo pair. I never wear them because they don't have that sock material. And then next from Nike, we have a pair of Air Force One lows. They're like the clot times Nike Air Force One. Um, and you have like an ancient Chinese print on them. A very dope shoe. But they look like they will stain hella easily and they'll be one-time wears. That's the last thing you want, right? Exactly. So right, right on that fly knit train that Nike is doing, they're releasing the entire Black History Month collection on February 1st. And they're kicking it off with the Air Jordan 1 fly knit. And it's like, of course, the black, the red, the greens. Very dope shoe. And then they also have the Nike Air Vapor Max Black History Month. And while the ones retail for 180, the Vapor Max will be retailing for 205. Wow, that sucks. Balakis. <laughs> and then we have some Port Wine Kobe's releasing basketball shoe. Then we have a KD, a black and white KD basketball shoe. And we have a nice BS Dunk Low. I don't know whose shoe. Then we have a Nike Air Vapor Max Olive Camo. Really dope shoe. Still, I'm not really too fond of the Vapor Maxes yet. I love when you add that Vapor Max sole to the Air Max Plus and you get the. What are they called? Vapor Max Plus. Those, tough. Vapor Max is alone. I like them on women's feet. Um, I've seen them on men's feet. They look decent. I just think that it's not like a shoe that you can really do too much with style and very lax shoe. You know what I mean? Then next we have the Nike Air Vapor Max Utility College Shoes and they're in like a navy red and speckled Oreo black white sole type ordeal going on. Very cool shoe to look at. I would have to see it on feet before I cop. And yes, all of those shoes will release on February 1st. Get your pockets ready. But then on February 2nd, we have Nike Air More Up Tempo and these are a women's drop, but this is definitely something everyone should keep up. What that taste to me? Everyone should keep an eye out for because the air on the Nike up tempo is chrome, and that alone is fire. Then we have a Nike Air Max 93 OG Dusty Cactus. Whew, that was a mouthful. These shoes remind me of some shoes that I would have probably put on my list of shoes that I slept on. Very dope shoe, very dope model. Would be great for like a 90s party. Um, otherwise, they look like you could definitely style them up. Track suits, sweatsuits are very in style. You definitely can, you know, you know, style these up. I definitely can see that happening. And then we have a shoe that I'm not too familiar with, or, well, nor am I too fond of, which is the Air Max, Nike Air Max Hot Punch. 
Yeah, you heard it here first, guys. Hot punch. I don't know what the hell that is, and I'm not. I, I don't even know why I'm talking about it. But these shoes dropped February second as well. Not too fond of them. Black and red. Not too fond of them. And then coming from just to break it up a little bit, coming from Adidas, we have two colorways of a Nike um, NMD racer. And it, I believe they come in a vivid pink and an ash gray colorway. Very dope silhouette. Has a smoother silhouette. Definitely look like they're more for women. Um, I do not like uh, to give closed genders. But in this sense, they do look like they're for women. Not because of the colors, but because of the sleekness in comparison to older NMD models. Get what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, then next, we have a Nike Air Max OG Ultramarine. I think I said that right. Uh, looks like an Air Max... Something Air Max 1, I believe. I forgot what Air Max they are. But not too fond of this silhouette. Kind of reminds me of a vintage baseball shoe. And then also, Nike's releasing a shoe called Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0 Wolf Gray. Um, not really sure what those are for. Not really my steez. Mm. Then, whew, the third. The third brings us joy. Because... Jordan is releasing a 9, the 9 Los Angeles, they are black and white, they are clean. I might not cop them, but they are still dope as hell. And then, on February 3rd, Jordan is also releasing a 6. And I definitely want to get a little more involved in this 6, because this 6 looks a very this six looks very interesting, just from the designs. From afar, you can already see that there's some roses on it. Well, haven't you caught up with the rose trend of 2017, Jordan? But more importantly, it looks to be some gold accents. Now, let's take a close look. Now, these will retail for $250. These are the Air Jordan, I guess, CNY. I'm not sure what that stands for. Features an all-over multicolor design across its back upper made of nubuck and leather. While floral embroideries highlight the look and are applied with a pattern overlay throughout, contrasting metallic gold accents, a milky white translucent outsole with black and red hits are also used across to finally complete a design altogether. These are really cool though. Although I'm not crazy about them using roses in 2018 when it was definitely a 2015 trend, um... That's a joke. Maybe not 15, maybe 17. But those are still really dope shoes. And they'll retail for $250. They can keep them. And then next on February 3rd, from Nike, we have an Air Force One triple black foam posit. This shoe looks so clean. If you've ever heard me talk about black Air Force Ones, and you've heard me talk about how even though they're like a matte black, they kind of have like this dustiness that they kind of give off after a while. And I feel like with this Air Force foam posit, you won't get that look. You know what I mean? So, hopefully that's the case. And um, these are really dope. Let me see what they retail for. Give me one second. Wow, these retail for $200. Um, while this Air Force re retails for $200, I think that is pretty steep. But um, for that material, I probably understand why. For this next shoe, I have a little story time. Don't worry, it'll be very brief. In 2012, when I was in high school, I was in the 12th grade, the world was stopped. No, not by Beyonce, but by a Galaxy Dope. If you're from the DMV, you probably call them phone posits, but if you're from Baltimore specifically, we call them dopes. And, <laughs> dopes. But more, so long story short, they had the Galaxy phones, and the thing about these were, people stood in lines all over the city. People stood in lines probably all over the country, I'm not too sure. But the point I'm trying to get across is that, Nike is releasing another Galaxy Dope, but this time they're called the One Big Bangs. And they have the very similar um, Galaxy Nebular look, Protozoa Xenon of the 29th century look. The difference is, I mean, the, this, this, the thing is, that so they're 230 retail. I'm not sure people would be this crazy about them as last time, but I'm not going to lie. I would try to get them if I were you. The, what I really like is the fact that they also include the pull tab that is usually on a flight jacket that they did in the original ones. Super dope. Definitely something worth copping. And those release on February 4th and they retail for about $2.30. I think I've said enough. 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 On February 5th, Nike releases the Nike Air Force One Black History Month. This shoe is very dope to me with the red, black, green insignia and with equality going across the tongue. This shoe is very exciting. It's at 130 retail, very reasonable price amongst all these other shoe prices. Whew. Um, I would love to know where the proceeds go for these shoes. Dying to know.
I'm sure they go to. I'm sure Nike doesn't play, you know, not fair or whatever. But who knows in this world we live in now? And so, on February 7th, Nike is doing something very dope. It's a collection of Nike models um, reimagined by women. Um, it sounds so stupid saying it that way, but it's just the world that we live in. And the reason why I say it sounds stupid because it's like so. So women can't design shoes like they haven't designed shoes in the past. But in short, these are a very dope collection of white, off-white, and like a very monotone palette of Nikes. And you have different silhouettes and models such as the Air Force One. Um, sorry, we're getting a little hot here. These lights are very warm. Um, so let me just look at the laptop. I try to pretend that I'm doing this without anything, but that's just not the case. So we have the Nike's Women Air Force One Rebel. We have the Nike's Air Force One Explorer, the Nike's Air Force One Jester, the Nike's Air Force One Lover, which is like a hideous slide. Then we have the Nike's Women Air Force One Sage. Um, and then we kind of go into the Jordan 1, which also releases on February 7th. We have the Air Jordan 1 Women's Jester. The Sage, the Women's Explorer, the Women's Rebel, and the Women's Lover. Um, majority of these Air Force models are really tough models. Um, the the way they reimagine them, sometimes from making a top corset to having an opening on the shoe, very dope. I would love to see how they are going to be styled. I cannot wait to that in the future. I hope some of my female, uh, I mean, I hope some of the. Um, I hope if some of my women YouTubers cover these shoes, it would be really interesting to see. I would cover them myself, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. My pockets will be worn thin in February with all that I'll be doing in February. So, <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be copying much of anything in February. And then on February 8th, Adidas is releasing an EQT, um, another model. It's just like a, a sub green, I believe they call it. Um, and... It's kind of higher than most of them. I have one of those shoes. It isn't the most comfortable shoe. I think it's hype. Sorry. Also on February 8th, Nike is releasing two Air Max Plus Volt, Volt colorways, which comes in like a lime green and then like an orange. The green is paired with a black and or dark gray rather. And then the um, orange is paired with a gray, like a lighter gray and a black. Also on February 8th, Nike is releasing three Air Force models. They're all for the Lunar New Year. Um, so there's two low models. The Air Force low models, there's one for women and there's one for men. They both um, incorporate floral designs. One is The men's one is more on the check. The women's one is more on the shoe. Very dope for those who like, you know, like the very subtle um, enhancements to their shoes. And then they also have a special feel boot, which kind of incorporates those floral patterns on the sole. It looks like a clear sole with like floral inserts, not like actual flowers, but just like the floral design. Very dope, um, especially if you're into subtle things. All of them are white. Um, not too interested. On February 9th, we have three releases. We have, uh, I believe, a pair of LeBrons. I believe they're the LeBron 15s. They're blue, very dope color. Then we have a pair of Jordan 32s for the Chinese New Year. Not a big fan of those. And then last but definitely not least, we have some Nike little foam posits. And they're like white. I think they're for kids and women. The thing is, I really hate the way they change the model for kids and women. They have a very narrow front and they are hideous. On February 10th, we have two releases. First, we have a Nike PG times PlayStation drop. A very shoe, a shoe that's probably for collectors who are into gaming and stuff like that. And then we have the Air Jordan 7 fadeaways. This bright red vibrant shoe that's really, 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 really dope. I wish I can get these. I really love red tennis shoes. And wow, the shoe gods have given you guys a break on the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. But on the 14th, they are back to snatch the money out of your pockets. And they're coming the right way with Jordans and not just any Jordans but Jordan 3's yes bitch you guessed it the Air Jordan 3 white cement NRG dunk contest will be releasing this day and I'm not sure if you care but I really care because I love threes, yo. I love threes these are like one of my favorite Jordans like after the fours so I'm really excited for that day and then also Adidas is coming out with an NMD prominent but that is linen Whoa, that sounds revolutionary. Talk about innovation, Adidas. Go Adidas. With the cream and orange colorway, how could one 
resist this orange cream sickle pop. Speaking of those, I want those. Do they have dairy free, dairy free versions of those? I would love to get a dairy free version of an orange cream pop. The Air Jordan 32 low free throw lines also will be arriving on February 14th. Hopefully you or the person you're dating does not care. And on February 15th, when you just thought you were going to give your pockets a break, nope, Jordan is coming with the why not 0.1 two ways. I don't know what I just said either. I've never heard of these shoes and maybe I'm reading it incorrectly. But what I will say is these are some shoes. Also on February 15th, Nike is releasing the KD10 All-Stars. Not my type of shoe. Also, Nike also Nike's releasing the Kyrie 4 All-Stars. Not my type of shoe. On February 16th, we'll be getting blessed with some patent leather sauce with the Air Jordan 1 High Retro OG Gold Toe. How do I remember these names? I have no idea. I'm really sometimes confused. Like, who names these shoes? It should be like the Jordan 1 Boo Boo. You know, like, Boo Boo. You don't need to go past the Boo Boo. You can tell I live in the hood. Like, who the fuck is just got killed? And then on February 16th, we'll also be releasing the Soulfly Times Air Jordan 17 Low Lightning. Not my type of shoe. And then next up, we have the FUBU times Puma Tsugi Jun. Tsugi Jun. Now, I'm all here for the FUBU nostalgia collaborations that are coming back with Puma, but I am not here for these shoes. Sorry. And also, I feel like if you want to do a FUBU shoe, give it like a 90s, early 2000s vibe and make it make sense. I love my people, for real. <laughs> and then to end the day off greatly on February 16th, Mr. God's Plans himself, OVO Drizzy, will be releasing two eights. Air Jordan eights at that. In OVO black, in OVO white. Are you excited? Because I am. On February 17th, is, it'll also be a great day because we get some black cement threes. Black cement threes are classic, they're a staple. They go with pretty much everything. You could do the denim on denim, you can do gray denim, you could do black denim, you could do white denim, you could do light denim, you could do any denim with these. They just are just the perfect shoe to have. It's that shoe that you can bring out 20 years from now and I'm sure it will still allow you to drip all the sauce that you wish and hope and pray to drip on a nightly basis. I do hear your prayers. <laughs> also, there's some shoes called Nike Dynasties. I'll just put them up here for those that care. Black and white colorway. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, if, you're asking, if you're wondering why I'm so charismatic today, it's because I have a headache the size of something big. And <laughs> when I have a headache, I try to smile to release the tension from my head. For real. It blows me. For real. Get ass. And then on February 23rd, it will be a very sad day for us all. Because Pharrell is releasing three Human Racer NMD Adidas collaboration uh, shoes. They come in black canvas and then another canvas called, I believe, like trail blank canvas. And the problem with these shoes. And the reason why I say it'll be a sad day is because none of us will be able to get them. While we watch all of our Instagram followers pop up with mysterious pairs that aren't accounted for by Adidas. That's another story. On February 24th, we'll be taking a blast from the past because Air Force is doing a snakeskin model, which we've seen before plenty of times, I feel like. Especially when I was in middle school. Um... Don't really know if I'll be copying those. Don't think I'll even try to. And then on February 24th, this is probably my top pick. And so if you didn't watch to the end of the video, I'll just let you know now. Um, this Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Bread Toe, I am all here for these. Ones are literally one of my favorite shoes. They're just super comfortable, super easy. They remind me of St. Laurent. Well, St. Laurent's remind me of those. And St. Laurent's is probably one of my favorite um, designer shoes. So... I just love having um, these shoes, and let me give you a little bit more information on these, just because they're my favorites. Um, they'll be retailing for 160, and so they're essentially like their normal breads, except for they have a red toe instead of a a white toe. And then we also have another pair of Air Jordan 3 GS Black Gums. Don't care, Air Jordan 3 Tinker NRG. What in the Jordan brand are those? I have no clue. Um, 
Then we have a really interesting shoe. It's a Big Times Adidas Dame 4 Green Camo. These are really dope in the sense of them being a big collaboration, but I can see every hype beast wanting these. This is not my type of shoe, and I'm saying that even before I don't get them because the shape of the shoe is very ugly to me. So this shoe isn't a shoe that I'm too fond of, even though it is a big collab. Very interesting, but the shape of the shoe overweighs the actual collaboration for me. When I see people in them, I'll probably still be upset that I didn't even try to get them, but I am fine with not getting them. Also on February 24th, Neighborhood is doing a collab with the Adidas NMDs, and you kind of have a bait looking shoe because it has like the shark teeth going all around it. I could be misinterpreting the shoe, but that's just what it appears to be. Whoever's car that was, it just rolled by. Sounds horrible. I hope they get a tune up. And last but not least, on February 24th, Air Jordan is releasing another 13, I believe. Wow, I didn't have to look at the picture to see that. I'm getting good with this. Um, and this is a black, white, and red colorway. My favorite Jordans are all brand Jordans. So, um, when they say these ones are black and metallic gold, they look blue. Let me see. And then next, on February 27th, we have another Virgil Abloh Off-White collab with another pair of ones. They call the Off-One White Ones, I'm sure, I believe. And they're very tough. The only, the major difference between like these ones and the ones we've seen in the past is that they're a little bit more contrasting colors versus them being all white. Very dope. Um, probably won't be able to get my hands on these. I told you guys I like ones, um, but I probably won't be able to get my hands on these. But I really do like these. I would try to get these. I say I would try, but a lot of times I feel defeated before I even try, so... We'll see. Now for the five dawn picks of what we'll be releasing in February. So first off the top, I'm really not going in order of what I probably shown, but this is just off the dome. So I really like the gold toes. Um, the ones, those were probably my favorites. Then next would probably be another one, which would be another one, <laughs> another one. Um, another one, which would be the uh, bread ones, which had the red toe. Um, really fuck with those. Then next we would have to go, and I would probably have to say the off-white ones, just to keep it going. Then I would have to say the Black Cement 3. So this would be a very Jordan-heavy month for me. And to finish it off, we would have to go with the King, Pharrell, and any NMD. Any Pharrell, I know that's kind of cheating, but any Pharrell NMD, preferably the black ones. Not too fan, not too, don't really care too much about the canvas ones. I could just see everybody wearing like white and all cream and stuff like that. You won't really get too much outfit play with those. Um, but... I really like those. Those will be my top Dawn 5 picks. And so that pretty much wraps up the releases for the month of February. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know what shoes you like. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a comment, like, subscribe, all that good saucy stuff. Um, if you like my content, um, please get, uh, if you like my content, please pledge anything that you can <laughs> just plan please pledge anything that you can to my patreon the link is in the bio below um pledging to my patreon allows us to have more content quality content better edited videos um and just more different types of videos because we can take the time and focus our energy on those types of videos versus other things other places like right now majority of my energy goes to shop dino because this is my bread and butter um and so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as i already said Thank you.